Sicu thyroid syndrome is an underdiagnosed medical condition. It is not the result of an underactive thyroid, but the result of too much physical or mental stress on the body. Years ago, it was believed to be a medical condition that occurred primarily in the intensive care unit with very sick patients. We now know that sick thyroid syndrome is common to a number of chronic medical conditions, including heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and depression. In the healthy individual, the brain produces thyroid stimulating hormone, which then stimulates the thyroid glands located in the neck to produce a number of thyroid hormones. Two thyroid hormones are primarily made by the thyroid gland, one being T4, which is thyroid hormone with four iodines, and the other being T3, which is thyroid hormone with three iodines. T4, however, is biochemically inactive until it is converted into T3, which is the active form of thyroid hormone. It is T3 that gives the body its wake-up signal. Thyroid function under chronic stress, however, can be significantly different. Although the thyroid gland does produce the T4 and the T3 thyroid hormone, under chronic stress, T4 can be converted into another thyroid hormone called reverse T3. Reverse T3 is the mirror image of T3 and binds to the same receptors on the cell that T3 binds to. Reverse T3 blocks the binding of T3 to the cell and prevents the wake-up signal by this hormone. As a result, the body responds as if it has an inadequate amount of thyroid hormone similar to hypothyroidism. The symptoms of sick thyroid syndrome are very similar to that of hypothyroidism and include fatigue, sensitivity to cold, constipation, dry skin, unexpected weight gain, elevated cholesterol, hair loss, depression, constipation, weakness, joint pain. And this is not the result of an inadequate amount of thyroid hormone, but is the result of the body trying to conserve resources under times of severe stress. Sick thyroid syndrome is commonly seen in patients who have severe illness, as well as chronic long-standing illnesses. It can also be caused by medications, as well as chemotherapy. Chronic stress is a major player, as is malnutrition and severe insomnia. This is a short list of the number and types of different medications that can make sick thyroid syndrome worse, including steroids, estrogens, chemotherapy agents such as tamoxifen and 5-fluorouracil, anabolic steroids, high blood pressure medications like furosemide, salicylates, and beta blockers. Although this research is relatively new, there does seem to be an increased risk of coronary artery disease and mortality in patients who have sick thyroid syndrome, even among patients who do not have demonstrable coronary artery disease. There seems to be an increased mortality in the active elderly, and there may be increased risk of death among patients who are HIV positive and patients with other serious illnesses. Unfortunately, there is no single test that will result in a positive diagnosis of sick thyroid syndrome. It is a clinical diagnosis based on history, clinical findings, and extensive blood tests for thyroid function. There are no imaging studies or biopsies that are able to elicit this diagnosis. The treatment of sick thyroid syndrome begins with lifestyle changes. For many patients, it is lifestyle that has contributed significantly to the development of sick thyroid syndrome, and without lifestyle changes, this condition will persist. Reducing stress, as well as improving nutrition, exercise and sleep, and reducing or changing medications are all key players in the treatment of sick thyroid syndrome. For many patients, adding low-dose T3 for a short period of time can alleviate many of the symptoms of sick thyroid syndrome. If a patient has a diagnosis of sick thyroid syndrome, by definition, they also have adrenal fatigue. Specific supplements and vitamins need to be added in order to help the adrenal function. B vitamins and vitamin C, as well as various supplements, all have a positive impact on adrenal function. 
with proper therapy for thyroid syndrome, for most patients there is complete and lasting resolution. This is not a disease, it is a result of more stress than the body can handle and sometimes medications and supplements are used for a limited period of time. With this specific medical condition there are a number of things that a patient should be aware of. One is do not use thyroid hormone, thyroid extract or supplements for the treatment of sick thyroid syndrome without medical supervision. Even if something is natural it still can have significant side effects and even if something is natural it can interfere significantly with medications. Do not use thyroid extracts if you are already using prescription thyroid hormones. The use of energy drinks as well as strongly stimulating dietary supplements will only make sick thyroid syndrome worse.